host, Cassandra Herbert, and we are here today with Mary McCarthy, and she's going to be talking about journaling for the health of it. I am so delighted that she is here with us today. Hello, Mary. How are you? Cassandra, very well, thank you. Good. Well, she shows health conscious people how to use a daily pen to page journaling for the health of it practices of self-healing and perfect health. She offers ideas, information, and inspiration through her many online journaling resources. This includes ebooks, newsletters, journal writing, a blog, and journaling challenges. She also does private journaling for the health of it Skype consultations. She has not used prescription drugs for a, over 11 years, nor over-the-counter drugs for six years. She eats fresh foods only. She has an ever-expanding energy and sleeps soundly. Yes, sleeps soundly for seven to eight hours every night. How many of you can say that? She's also a singer, and she just released her third album, Lady with a Song. I am so delighted that she is here with us because she's going to be sharing with us about journaling for the health of it. So she's going to be talking about how, you know, journaling can help us become more self-aware. It can increase our self-growth and our self-healing. Uh, so tell us, what began your journey to start journaling? I uh, always attributed and I am thankful for the gift that I call uh, multiple sclerosis known in the vernacular as MS. Uh, I had oh, probably about, so I just uh, celebrated my 17th year of uh, journaling. Um, I had an, an exacerbation where I lost uh, the feeling on the right side of my body uh, and uh, being the hardened, lifelong uh, career woman. I had my own uh, management consulting business. Uh, of course, I needed a procedure, so I needed to teach myself how to write with my left hand. Uh, so a, a someone synchronistically uh, entered my life and introduced me to Julia Cameron, who is the author of The Artist's Way, and she has a procedure <laughs> called Morning Pages that every morning, first thing you sit down and you do your stream of consciousness, uh, free form, free uh, free writing. And I thought, oh, that that sounds like a, a good way to you know, have a good disciplined way to, to get uh, writing with my left hand. Uh, and very soon into the, the process, well, one, uh, I found out it was really good uh, physical therapy. Uh, I, I learned probably within a matter of weeks I was able to read my left-handed writing really well. The most important thing to me was I found that uh, it was also uh, emotional therapy. It was also mental therapy. It was also uh, all kinds of other things because one of the things I found in uh, I couldn't you know figure out how I could come to to write so well with my left hand. You know, being a, a woman of a certain age and you know how things you know and built up that. Uh, a barrier, shall we say? Um, and but in the process, I remembered, uh, started to remember all these things from my my childhood. And one of the things that came up was that uh, when I was at I don't know early on in St. Bernard's grade school, the nuns uh, had my mother make sure that they changed me from being a left-handed writer to a right-handed writer. So come to find out in the journaling, uh, I was always. Uh, a left-handed person to begin with. So mm. I, so the, what I, I found that uh, in addition to this this whole thing of uh, being a great physical therapy of teaching me how to write with my left hand, I started remembering and all these spiritual, emotional, mental things started coming up, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna keep you know keep doing this, and that's just uh, and that's how I, I got started, and then I thought you know I just started. Saying, wow, this would be something really awesome to share with the world because I don't think that too many other people know that, you know, because people think of you know, journaling as being diarying or recording or documenting, document, excuse me, documenting things. Uh, but it, uh, I just thought, hmm, I think I think I'm on to something really big here. Uh, so it's just uh, one day 
uh, the words uh, journaling for the health of it came up, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to start a company and share this uh, with the world. Mm, that has been the uh, challenges of people even beginning to journal um, with the people that you've worked with. Right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I know there's, there's all this talk about writer's block, but I, you know, I, I think uh, to me what applies here is page fright. And it, it's, Cassandra, it's all over the map as far as what's going on. The, the, the bottom line in all this is I really feel that it's something that is so personal for this spending, you know, spending time with yourself as opposed to saving the rest of the outside world. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it's just, you know, it's very scary. I think that's what the bottom line is with all my, my clients and people that I, I meet and, and work with. It's just like, it's, it's just uh, acknowledging that it's fear. And, you know, a lot of it is just a lot of bad experiences, you know, how they, our teachers were, you know, you had to have be perfect and cross the T's and dot the I's and the grammar, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So, and I, I think that's what, and I think it's very helpful for uh, for people to hear from me that we come into this world with all our our talents, our skills, our abilities, and everything, and then we get in, put into a, a system. You know, we have parents that are are wonderful people, but basically they were parenting at us the way their parents parented them. You know, and so we have all these outside um, factors, and it's you know as, you, as little children where we are sponges, so we're just sucking all this thing, all this in, and, and we you know interpret things that it's my fault, you know it's uh, uh, it's because I did this and all that. And the thing is, we've been carrying around all these misconceptions, these thoughts, these messages, whatever not only in our brain, but in our body. And we get into behavior patterns of, you know, uh, making the dean's list and getting into college and getting the right job and getting the biggest house and all those things that they say we should be doing. And I think it's just, it, it, this is a unique opportunity to get into ourselves. And I, I think that's what's really, really scary. And I think, uh, uh, because we, we've never done that, and, and we have not been positively reinforced that that's an okay thing for us to do. Yeah. You know, just just really have the experience, and I think it's a really good opportunity to just start taking time for yourself. You know, baby steps. Like, okay, go out and just you know, and remember your your childhood, and, and just you know, access your your inner child, and and, and just go to the store, and you know, what what strikes your fancy, and things like that, and, and pick up a a pen and a notebook, and that. So I, I think it's, it's just a, a question of, of taking really baby steps and, and just really just saying, you know, to your, your inner critic and whatever, you know, craziness is going through your head and just say, get, like you said earlier when we first started the process, um, uh, take some, some breaths and just, just go for it and just, you know, take the risk. Yes. Yes, I think that is an excellent suggestion as well as